We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Pit Black Lights, we take a look at this. And what this is from Taco Bell, it is the entire volcano menu. So we have here a uh, burrito, I think it's a, I don't know what it is. It's a double beef something or other, I think. And there is this red taco here, which is a volcano taco. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the burrito. What is in the burrito? Let's take a look. We have rice, sour cream, I guess, lava sauce, uh, some sort of red chips, and beef, it looks like. Is there beans, maybe? I don't see those. I don't think there's beans in this. All right, so there's the, there's the burrito. But really, but really, but really, guys, folks, Children of all ages, what we really have is one menu item. And uh, so the nacho fries are not part of it, but I got those for a very specific reason, which we'll talk about momentarily. But really, what we're talking about is one menu item, and it's one of these. I think it is this. This is the lava sauce. So that is really the only thing, if we're being realistic, on the menu. And so look at this. Half-filled cups, and these are a dollar each. Like I said, I got the nacho fries. Uh, here, by the way, let's do this. We can compare to the nacho cheese sauce, if you guys want to compare and contrast. So let's figure out what this stuff actually is, this lava sauce. It's been a while since so I've had it, I don't recall. We'll get some here so we can taste it solo and uh, let's just get on with it. It reminds me of like a chipotle mayo almost. That kind of tone, I don't think it's a mayo. It's uh, kind of like a cream sauce, I guess. Sort of a vague, peppery, probably jalapeno to it. I do remember having this occasionally when it was out before. But not being very, imp I wasn't doing videos, I was doing a blog, but not videos the last time I had it. I might have written something about it in the blog, but I don't remember being very impressed by the heat, and it is pretty minimal. Yeah. It's not a bad sauce, per se. By itself on the fries, I don't think it's particularly great, though. Let's, uh, what if we mix it with nacho? Yeah, so if we mix it with nacho, say you got the nachos and then had the sauce with it, just kind of combined, that would be not bad. It's kind of an, I guess it is an accompaniment to that, it'll be fine. Uh, now super impressed with the lava sauce, which is the main point of this. So they put this this sort of red taco here. I don't know. Is this just red? Is there a flavor to this? Yeah. It's just red for whatever reason. But it comes in this um, Doritos Locos. I say it. comes in this Doritos Locos sleeve, but it is not, from what I can tell, having any flavoring for the shell itself. 
so let's, uh, you know, let's have it by itself. And then maybe we'll, oh boy, this thing's all busted dead. Hail and gout, I'm afraid. Uh-oh, look at this. Wow, how did that happen? Look at this. They're falling apart in my hands. So I would be happier if this taco shell A was thicker and B had some flavoring to it. It's been long enough that I didn't remember specifically. You know what the um, what what the the lava sauce tasted like. So when they were talking about bringing it back, I was I was kind of excited. But this is another corporate. You know, Olay. Way it's like a pass at being spicy and it's just failing to deliver. Pretty much every way possible. Let's put some nacho cheese in there and see how that is. Actually I'll put some more volcano sauce in there too. Sorry, lava sauce in there also. And um, see if we have enough left of the skin here. Maybe I can just use this to scoop it up. I could go get a fork, probably. But this will work. It's way better with nacho sauce. You know, they have a not bad nacho sauce. It is by no means great, but it's very acceptable. I don't know why I'm so insistent on trying to do this without utensils, but we're committed now. So I think this is a mistake. This, I get that they want to use a red shell or whatever. This taco is a bust. Either use something with a way thicker shell and seasoning, or just make it a soft taco. Like there's no, there's no reason for this. All right. We'll get back to this here in a minute. All right, let's see. Let's see what this rather small. Look at this. this is not a big burrito. Let's see what this sort of undersized burrito is like. Sour cream rice. Is that a Almost a weird artificial taste to it. it. Might be the rice. I'm not familiar with their rice, I never get it. A little more of this on there. Huh. Um, well, I think it, uh, 
This burrito works a little bit better than does the taco. The taco is just a huge hang error in execution though. Like you have to have something way more substantial than a really, really thin taco shell. Try to stand up to all that stuff. We're gonna try it with nacho cheese and with the volcano sauce. I will say this, those two together is actually pretty good. That has been by far the best thing I've had in this video so far. I don't know why that wasn't something they did with the menu. Like a, a, a smothered nacho fries with, with the sauce and the lava sauce. This rice is way too much. It's like, this is awful. I get you want to have a cheap filler, but if you don't do rice at least somewhat well, and here it has not done well at all, if you don't do it at least somewhat well, it can really, really detract from what you're trying to do. So we're going to again try to stuff some nacho cheese and even more lava sauce into the burrito. I'll be honest, I, I'm not going to get this again. This is actually somewhat of a struggle to get through. But they did a Reaper Ranch that was pretty much eh. They played with habanero, they played with ghost pepper. But it's very much, you know, marketing gimmick, I think, with that Taco Bell. Even this lava sauce. I can't imagine there was some huge clamor to get this back. I think it's been gone since like 2016 or something like that. That's a long time. What I think they're doing is they're looking at... So this, this menu became available to regular people who don't have the app. As of today, like literally this day I'm posting this, this is the first day that you can get it outside of the app. But recently both Burger King and Carl's Jr., you can check out those videos as well in the restaurants fast food playlist, came out with recent spicy things. So I think this is just like kind of a gimmicky thing. You know, we, we've seen a lot of that over the past couple of years, the ghost whoppers and stuff like that. And, and I think this is really, uh, probably I said they're ghost wings. This is just really part and parcel of that. Them, I think, trying to get on a food trend more than anything else. I also think Taco Bell is really struggling to figure out an identity. Like they deleted half their menu. Actually, over half. It's way more expensive. Like they were doing pretty well. For a long time, you know, that was kind of the running joke, right? Was could you eat $20 worth of food at Taco Bell? Everything you see before you, the taco, well, everything you, in this video, the taco, sauce, the burrito, uh, this, this is part of the combo. It was about the same price. You just basically get the drink free, so I got it. The nacho cheese, the nacho fries, all that was about 14 bucks. So could you eat $6 more worth of Taco Bell? That's like one or two items. So really easily, yes. That's not even a challenge anymore. Back in the day, man, when Stuff was like 59 cents to a buck 19. 
for everything almost, you'd be you'd be hard pressed to eat twenty dollars worth of Taco Bell. <laughs> Greedflation, shrinkflation, whatever it is, that's not the case anymore. Some days are dead and gone, and I don't think they're ever coming back. But they had a really good niche position that they occupied there. Everybody on a budget, everything else. You could get good and filled up for not a lot of money in Taco Bell. You know, which is great because we wanted our money for like a booze budget <laughs> back then. A long time ago now, years and years ago. I don't even know if that kind of thing still exists anymore among the youth. You know, those wild, wild times back then. All right. Nostalgia ruminations aside, what do we think of this? You know what's kind of funny, too, is like, that's not a bad way to try to sell your app. I really like that idea. I hate the app. I'm never going to have it. I will never have an app for any food, fast food place. Like, ever. That's just asinine. This one, you look on the bag, front, front of the back of the bag, there is no Taco Bell. It's just this purple and, and uh, sort of fluorescent pink lettering here. On the sides of Taco Bell, but it just it, it's strange to me. But it's not a bad idea. You push the app to say, hey, you can get this new menu earlier than everybody who doesn't have the app. I think it's smart. That part, I don't have a problem with. Uh, as far as the actual menu, which is the point, I guess, of this video, the lava sauce by itself is an okay thing. In no world should they be charging you a dollar for a half full little ass cup like this of it though. That's just frankly asinine. They shouldn't do that. Uh, it works best for me when it's mixed with the nacho cheese sauce because by itself it's it, it gets kind of tiring quickly. Uh, the taco I think was okay. Pretty good ratio, pretty good mix of stuff. The shell though was complete garbage. It, sh it should have been both flavored and thicker, or they should have just gone with the soft shell. The hard shell was in a bazillion pieces uh, by the time I got to it, and it was just a, I mean, you saw it, if you watched the video, if not, go back and watch it, I guess. But it, it was in a uh, zillion pieces and just a whole scale mess of nonsense. Uh, the burrito was a lot more compact, it worked, um, a little bit better as far as being neater to eat. Uh, however, the rice should be deleted. That doesn't add anything. Just put beans in there, right? Put, put, put beans in there with it. Beans and nacho sauce and delete the rice. And I, I think that's not a bad sort of product. Uh, as it is, the rice really, really, really doesn't play well in there. It, it's really pedestrian flavors here, though. I... I I'm hard pressed to give the volcano, sorry, <laughs> it's a volcano member. I'm hard pressed to give the lava sauce even a default one because I don't find a lot of spiciness particularly in there. It's, it's, I think they probably have hot sauces that have more heat than that does. And if you're calling something lava sauce, I, I think that's not a, a positive thing. So, yeah, I mean, I guess after seven or eight years or whatever it was, uh, I guess welcome back. It's a limited time menu, but I won't be going back there again, and I am not going to mind when it disappears for another seven or eight years or whatever it is. So uh, pretty much a near universal bust, but honestly, that was pretty much what I was expecting from Taco Bell, uh, given their track record and everything. So, But uh, there was the entire... 
Taco Bell Volcano Menu. Number four. In peace to serve the flame. 